Hey everyone, this is Disc Junkie, and today I'm back to do a quick video on one of my all-time favorite horror movies, the Poughkeepsie Tapes, which only recently received a Blu-ray DVD combo release in 2017. This film first premiered in cinemas very briefly back in 2007. Since 2007 there hasn't been a single official release of this movie. I mention this because, like many of the other fans of this film, which have sort of discovered it through various bootleg copies that have sort of circulated with file sharing and whatnot. I was just super stoked to finally be able to see this in its official restored release on Blu-ray which is presented from Shout Factory. I was absolutely shocked to realize that apart from the incredible image restoration which has been done, the movie looks so much better than it did on all these bootleg versions. The film has actually changed. There are actually over 60 different editorial changes done to the film. If you compare it to the bootleg DVD and versions that have circulated online. If you want to know more about these changes, I will leave a link in the video description. All the edits that I've been able to find between the two versions, including screenshots and yada yada yada. This is the Poughkeepsie Tapes on Blu-ray. Pretty standard keep case, but they do make use of the the very attractive theatrical poster art. Here is the spine, nothing too special about that. Then we got the back cover, just a bit of a detailed look at that. Now there are a bit of special features on here which you can see. We have interviews with writer, director John Eric Dowdle and uh, Drew Dowdle, as well as main actress Stacey Sch I can never pronounce it, I'm sorry Stacy. I think you're a great actor anyway. These interviews I want to mention, they amount to roughly 50 minutes I think, so it's almost close to an hour and they are actually very insightful. Just a quick look here at all the little specs in terms of definition and the audio and whatnot, you can always freeze frame if you want to read up on all this. This Blu-ray is region A, so for anyone who doesn't have an American player or a region 3 Blu-ray player, it's obviously gonna be hard to watch this, but this is a Blu-ray a DVD combo so it is actually a DVD region 1 as well. In terms of the interior not too much to tell but I uh, thought we would check out the discs at least. So here is the first one the DVD version and then we have the Blu-ray. They come with differing disc art as you can see. I'm also gonna pop out the disc real quick just to show you a artwork here on the background. A wide shot of um, character named uh, Jason Ribling, I think. Quite a nice decision in terms of picking a wide shot. Always quite enjoyed that scene. Just pop those back. Now, seeing as this is the first official release, in case you haven't seen it, this is obviously a must-have if you are a fan of mockumentary or found footage movies. And I wouldn't recommend my girlfriend to watch this because she's not into horror. And I wouldn't recommend anyone else who's not into horror or doesn't enjoy, you know, sort of like the extremer films to check this out. Because this is not a Hollywood fairy tale. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but I'm just saying that it's not a typical Hollywood movie. It's actually a very grim and disturbing film. But I think it, it's incredibly intense, in my opinion, a found footage classic and dare I say masterpiece because I think they managed to do something in the genre which isn't all too common that they'll actually make a mockumentary found footage film which is based in real life you know it's not about supernatural ghosts or whatever it is actually something entirely different which is grounded in reality you know taking into account that this was made in 2007 quite early on in this subgenre I'm not saying it's the first found footage movie or anything you know we all know that there were many many other films before it but I think it still manages to do something which is quite uncommon because the found footage subgenre is actually quite repetitive still one of my favorite horror genres I can also mention that in terms of the bootleg DVD version which I'm referring to earlier I have this on DVD which I got from a place called Twisted Anger say online store I think they still sell this so if you have seen the new version or want to check out the old one which is very inferior quality I gotta say image wise it's absolutely terrible but if you do want to check it out you can order this from Twisted Anger or probably find it online for free I imagine but anyway that's it for this review really hope you enjoyed it don't forget to check out the link in the video description if you want to learn more about all this bizarre stuff that I'm talking about about editorial changes and whatnot check out the 
the video description. Thank you very much for watching and as usually hope to see you all next time.